Hello everyone, my name is Rollins and thank you so much for watching my channel, a channel that talks about investing in stock market and also financial independence. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing such that you don't miss other videos like this. At the moment, if you're aware or if you're not aware, in this season, it's the time when the Kenyan banks declare their quarterly earnings updates and so far some banks have released the, their earnings and the others haven't declared so today i'm going to be discussing one of the kcb bank results that they declared and it showed that it declined by 40 percent and what does it mean to investors or the people who are planning to invest so this is what i'm going to be talking about in simple terms i'm, I'm going to be briefly introducing uh, KCB Bank uh, talking about small about its earnings updates and also what next so number one KCB Bank actually is the largest bank group in East Africa by their assets and also actually it has several banks in different countries Kenya Uganda Tanzania Rwanda Southern Sudan actually it has branches of banks in all parts of East Africa. So that is uh, one thing you have to note about KCB Bank. Second is KCB Bank mainly actually it does, it provides financial services, providing loans and also mortgages, a lot of banking services. In addition to that also it is a stock broker. So if you're in Kenya and you're also planning to invest in the stock market, you can approach KCB Bank brokerage firm to do the services for you. That's mainly uh, all about uh, KCB Bank. So let's dive into simple uh, into the earnings updates for this quarter. Then we can proceed on what is next. So if we go directly to the um, the earnings of this quarter, we shall be comparing them to, of course, the last year's quarter to get a better picture of this year's earnings and also the difference if you check actually most of the figures are completely different or there is a big difference between uh, this year's earnings and last year's earnings of course the obvious reason we know it it's because of the covid so basically i'm going to be discussing mainly two major differences and also the point of concern of if you're an investor in KCB or if you're planning to invest. This is, I'm going to be uh, discussing about the provisions for bad loans and also profit after tax. So if you check the provisions for bad loans, they increased by more than 200% percent so it means actually that 200 is i mean more than 100 percent may default because they are saying provisions for bad debts it's not that they they are going to default but there is a high percentage that they are going to default so that is one point of concern that we investors in KCB should be worried about and also if you're planning to invest in KCB you should be worried about this. Another thing is uh, profit after tax that has declined by 40 percent of course we know the reason and, and I believe it shouldn't be that much worry because after COVID there is life. So basically those are the two things that really if you're looking into KCB you should be worried about but personally i'm not so worried because if you look at the the price uh since last year it was around 54 pass 54 kenyan shillings per share but as as of as of now as i record this video it's 30.5 so you can say the price has been factored in what i'm doing now actually i'm buying more because i know this pandemic is once once in a lifetime event. So after this, this year or next year, things will get back to normal and the stock price will go up again. 
So that's uh, basically about the, the figures and the reason is why actually the KCB went down. It was just because the, the bad dates and also uh, if you check also the figures, the increase also in the operating income i mean the expenses total operating expenses so basically those are the figures so let's go to reasons or oh, what next after this from the financial updates you can see most of their figures have declined and mainly this is because of covid 19. so after this what is next for kcb bank so i've divided this into the setbacks that you should look into and also the positives that you should look in into if you're planning to invest in also kcb bank actually before i do also do this this is a disclaimer always do your own research before investing in the stock market and don't depend on any tip or any advice before you do your own research so what are the setbacks if you're planning to invest in kcb bank number one as we said before its quarterly earnings has declined by 40 percent so this one may trigger more price decline because actually many people when there is a, a decline in performance most of the people they sell their stock because they they think that actually in the future it will continue declining so that is one thing you should watch another thing to worry about kcb bank group is the increased provision of debts actually as you watched in the report it declined actually the provision loan loss provision increased by more than 100 percent it me means that actually more than 100 percent of our, their loans may be defaulted so this is a big big blow to a bank if you're planning to invest because most of the banks actually let's face the fact they depend on loans because most of their incomes most of their incomes they come from the interest that they get from the loans that they give to the customers so that is another thing that you should watch third thing is normally in every quarter kcb bank always provides uh one kenyan shrinks as an interim dividend this period it did not announce it so i'm sure it is not going to uh, give an interim dividend to its shareholders this is also another big bro so those are the three three things that you should watch out if you're planning to invest in kcb bank so what are the good thing what is the opportunity that we investors can take up during this period as we are planning to also to continue looking into this bank number one thing is as we said the stock has declined from 54 since last year up to now as i record this video it has declined and up to 30.5 kenyan shillings so what does this mean to investors or people who are planning to invest personally i follow one of the greatest investors of our time warren buffett he says actually when a stock declines this is a great opportunity to buy more because in the future the stock or the company is going to do better the reason why actually stock decline it's because of this period covid and i'm very sure after covid as you maybe if you're following news already some countries like russia have already started uh vaccinating their people because they already got a vaccine and other countries and and in advanced stages of getting a vaccine so there is a positive news about the future so if you're planning to invest i believe at 30 kenyan shillings per share this is a discount you don't normally get so personally in fact i started buying at 35 the more it declined the more i'm buying then if it goes down again i'm going to be buying more because this pandemic is once in a lifetime event 
so after this i can bet on this the stock will rise again so if you are an investor and you prime invest look into it and if it fits your decision go ahead and buy it because i can assure you the stock is going to go up so that is one opportunity second opportunity is as you can see it has declined but if you look into the past financial performance its return on equity it has been to over 20 percent so meaning kcb is a great stock if you look into the history actually though it declined by 40 percent it remained in profits over actually the return of equity this time it was about 12 percent so even if we are saying the it has declined it's not that bad so you can go ahead with the discounted price of 30 percent to go ahead and invest in kcb so what else would you want what next for kcb personally as i said i will continue buying as long as it is below 35 because kcb is one of the biggest banks we have in east africa and one of the well managed companies with a great management so if you're planning to invest i believe you look into kcb because i once again said kcb is one of the greatest companies that we have in east africa that you should look up to if you're an investor so these were my uh suggestions these were my opinions about kcb bank so if you're planning to invest go and look into it maybe it will fit into investment options then you go ahead and invest it once again i'm saying please always do your own research before investing in any companies please if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing such that you can be watching other videos like this and if all actually if you have other videos you want me to talk about if you have any company you, you want me to talk about please comment below in the section so that i can do a video on that have a good day bye bye